So if you guys are struggling to really understand what inflation is, please don't worry because you are definitely not alone and hopefully you have found the right video. In this video, I will explain exactly what inflation is and I will try to make this as quickly as possible as well. So without further ado, let's get started right away here. So in the most simple terms, inflation is when things cost more. So for example, if a piece of bread cost $1 10 years ago and now it cost $2, that is inflation. If a Big Mac cost $1 10 years ago and now cost $2, that is inflation. When things cost more or when prices rises, that is inflation. But now even more importantly, we have to understand why. Why do we see inflation? In my opinion, we can put the reasons why we see inflation in three broad categories or three sort of broad reasons. And reason number one is increased money supply, or in other words, money printing. So to understand why increased money supply leads to inflation, let's imagine that we in an instant doubles everyone in the world's bank account. So we double everyone's money. If you are a smart business, this orange thing right here is a smart business, then your reaction to everyone getting twice the amount of money would actually be to double the prices of everything you're selling. And why is this true? Well, if everyone got twice the amount of money that they have now, they would still have to buy the same things they did before. They need to eat as much. They need to pay for having a roof over their head. And by doubling the money supply, nothing have changed because they still need or they still want all the things they wanted before. If we have a business that doesn't increase all their, all their prices, let's say that this business right here have their prices at the same level as before we saw the, the doubling, then this would quickly lead to everyone going to this store because this store is, you know, half the price of the other smart businesses. And because everyone is going to the store, this would quickly lead to the store running out, running out of goods. And the store would eventually realize that, you know, we have so much demands, so we can actually increase prices for our goods here and still be able to sell. So this would lead to this store eventually raising the prices, raising the prices until they hit the level as the smart businesses that double their price right away. So this is why increased money supply leads to inflation. Reason number two is increased demand. And what do I mean by this? Well, let's say that we have a city with only one McDonald's and with just a snap, we make everyone in the city only able to eat hamburgers. And in this particular city, the only place that sells hamburgers is McDonald's. So what would happen here to this McDonald's? Well, everyone in the city would rush to, to this place for, for lunch, dinner, you know, breakfast. We would have so much demand here. And if McDonald's is smart, they will realize that they, they can actually increase the prices of the hamburgers and people will still buy them because the only thing they, li they like is hamburgers. The demand for hamburgers are exploding. So that means that uh, McDonald's can increase the prices of their hamburgers and they can increase the prices until you know the people simply can't afford it anymore even though they love hamburgers they now have to go for pizza instead because the burgers are just costing too much and the third reason for inflation is decreased supply and this one is pretty similar to the previous one but but the opposite so let's say that we have a city now uh, where we have five McDonald's uh, all of these circles are McDonald's so we have five McDonald's store and this is the same city as before, so the people only want only want McDonald's. But let's say when we do have five McDonald's, this is actually pretty doable. The prices of the burgers are not too high. But let's say that for some reason, four of these McDonald's shuts down. So we decrease, we can't make as many hamburg hamburgers as we could before. What will happen then? Well, the exact, exact same thing that happened before will happen now because we have decreased supply, everyone has to go to to the one the only mcdonald's that is open and this will yet again mean that they can increase the prices of the burgers because we still have the same demand people want burgers but we have lower supply not as many mcdonald's so they can once again increase prices until people can't just simply can't afford them anymore but all right guys that's pretty much it for this video if you feel like you got any kind of help or value then please consider dropping a like and if you guys are interested in more then don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I hope I will see you guys in the next video. But for now, guys, take care. Ciao, ciao.